Wildfires burn deeper into the rainforest along the border with Venezuela. El Nino has been blamed for five months of drought that has allowed the fires to reach forests that are usually too wet to burn. Over two million acres of grazing land have been blackened and the fires have also destroyed several isolated settlements. In the Middle East, life came to a halt with the coldest and heaviest March snowfall in more than 40 years. Only two days after a blinding sandstorm swept over the area, more than 18 inches of snow fell in some areas. Strong winds and three inches of snow clogged the streets of Jerusalem, a city that doesn't own a snowplow. Coming up, getting whiplash from all those conflicting health reports? Why it's so hard to know which story to swallow? Earthquakes rocked two different parts of the world this week, Indonesia and Italy. And those tremors are the subject of this week's EarthCast. The Indonesian island of Sulawesi was rocked by a magnitude 5.7 earthquake that killed at least 17 people and destroyed hundreds of houses. Indonesia was just one of 10 areas of the world that experienced earthquakes strong enough to be felt in populated areas. But the world's attention has been mainly focused on Italy, where a deadly tremor also damaged some of the country's most precious art treasures. Inspectors confirmed that irreplaceable frescoes were severely damaged in the city of Assisi, where parts of the Basilica of St. Francis collapsed during the strongest of two powerful quakes last week. The final toll for the quakes was 11 people killed and an incredible number of 88,000 homes damaged. This week, tremors also struck both northern Italy and Sicily, which happen to be at opposite ends of a major fault that divides the country. Minor tremors are common along the fault length, but quakes as powerful as the one that hit Assisi are a rare occurrence. When we come back, 